Hello everybody, Stephanie McPhail Sharon, Dream Coach here. I was thinking about a conversation that I had with some friends yesterday, um, people that I love dearly that are amazing, wonderful people, um, and I was telling them about some of the things that I was working on and my dream of having a job that I work less hours doing the things that I love to do. And I had a chuckle that came out of my friends. Um, and, you know, and one of the comments that I also heard was, well, I really hate my job, you know, it's really terrible, I don't like it, um, but you just kind of have to deal with it. And that was pretty much the conversation. And it really stuck in my head, it really made me think today a lot. And the reason why is because I think a lot of people are stuck in that mindset. They have that job that they have, whether they like it or they don't like it. I think a lot of the times it's people don't like their job and they feel trapped in it. They feel like there's nowhere to go. Um, they have stability. They know they have to make their bills and they have to provide a roof over their family's head. And they stop thinking about themselves and about their joy and what makes them happy. And that to me has become a really sad thing for a lot of people to feel like they have no choice, to feel like they need to be doing something that they're not happy doing at all. I know for me, when I do dream coaching, dream coaching leaves me with such a sense of happiness and excitement. I, I have this feeling of just pure joy in my, in my chest, feeling that I'm helping people and watching people really grow into the better versions of themselves. And I am a teacher in my regular job. And not that I don't love that, I, I love that a lot. But I think that there's just so much more that I can do. I have this calling, I have this pulling to help people in a different way than what I've been doing, that it's pulling me away from the teaching aspect and pulling me in the direction of a coaching aspect because I think I can actually do more good in the one-on-one -on -one types of sessions. And I'm really thinking that a lot of people, when they do share their dreams with others, with their friends, with their family, with people they know, with coworkers, they're oftentimes greeted or responded to in the same way that I am often responded with is, you know, why would you want to do that? You already have a job that you love. Why would you want to change that? The reality I think is that we have this paradigm that we've been all following. You know, we were told when we were younger, we had to grow up, we had to get married, we had to buy a house, you know, white picket fence, um, get a job, stay in it, have stability. And that was it. There was no real thought or possibility of finding a job that you love and going from there. And if you don't find a job, creating a job. And the big thing, you know, is, is knowing that you have free will and you were here for a very specific purpose. And the whole idea of life is figuring out what that is. So I feel like every day where you're not really fulfilling that purpose and doing what it is that your heart is telling you to do, kind of start to die on the inside. I mean, I know that when I'm you know, when I have free time, I'm working on my business. I'm excited about my business. I, I wake up in the morning thinking about my business. I go to sleep thinking about it. I'm, you know, hanging out with my son and, and enjoying my time with my son. And then when he goes to bed, I'm right back to working on my business with whatever free time that I have because it's it's not a passion that just goes away. It's It's encompassing. It's something that I really genuinely feel. And I think that there's a lot of people that have that. They have that feeling of something missing. They might not know exactly what it is, but they know that there's something more calling them and they feel like something's missing, but they're not quite sure what it is. That's one of the things that really drew me to coaching was really seeing the people be able to make the best of their lives, for people to change the things that they need to change to make themselves happier. Because again, who else is in charge of us but ourselves? So we have a decision. We can either stay doing what we've been doing and staying at this happiness, we're not sure, maybe there's more, but we're a little bit scared, but we've got the security and, and everything else. Or we can step out of our comfort zone a little bit, maybe a lot, depending on what you're ready for, grow because growth happens when you step out of your comfort zone and try something new. It doesn't mean quit your job right away. You know, no one's telling you to do that, but maybe start doing something else that you love on the side, finding that hour, finding even 30 minutes. Um, I have one of my coaching clients that 15 minutes twice a day has become his meditation and that's something that has been helping him become more focused. So you need to figure out what is best for you. And if you don't have anyone that's there to help you, then it is really good to have that, you know, I talked about it before, have that team, have people that are there to help you move you forward, not keep you where you are. Because if you're staying where you are, you're not growing at all. You're not finding the best version of yourself. And I, I know that when you do and when you feel and you feel that, that that wonderful feeling that I know that I get when I talk about what I'm doing and all the exciting things that are going on, 
I know that you can have that possibility too. I know that that's available to you. So if you're looking, if you're a little stuck and if you're looking for someone to help you, I am more than willing and able to help you. Um, but there's no reason to stay stuck. There is plenty of opportunities. There's plenty of chances to make things better. And don't let other people try to squash your dreams because they're not following theirs.